my contact is bothering me. Okay. Are you gonna get a blooper of this in there? Yeah, go ahead. Come on in. No. You can't be seen. What? I look retarded. I just came off of work too. I just changed my shirt. Yeah. Came too. <laughs> that will make it in. I will. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to this video. We're in the car again. I've been doing so many in the car lately. Sorry, but also not sorry. Anyways, uh, my name is Brittany. I can't remember if I said that. Hi, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe. I'm desperate, but in a good desperate. So today I thought, wow, clothes are expensive. And wow, I don't have a lot of money. And a lot of big trends are going around and I was wondering can you dress trendy from Walmart and I'm just gonna say right now Walmart is not the greatest company they have a lot of issues they have supported things that I do not support but the unfortunate thing is that Walmart is dirt cheap and I need dirt cheap even cheaper than Target I just went to Target the other day I'm guessing it was just the Target I hope so it was a complete disaster uh, but also so is Walmart. Anyway, not the point. We're headed to Walmart right now to see if we can buy any trendy clothes and then I'm gonna buy them and then I'm gonna show them to you guys to show that you can still look like you spent a lot of money without spending a lot of money. So, let's go. We're at Walmart. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous. A lot of people usually go to Walmart. A lot of old people, a lot of crazy people. But we will see. Somewhere where it says ladies active. So this is cute, simple, just not sure what color. I think this might be cute, but we'll have to see how it ties. I think the part I'm finding the hardest is finding bottoms. Like, I want like shorts jeans and that seems to be the only thing I'm seeing. Yes, my hair is already different. It's a different day. So I found a lot of things at Walmart. Now I'm going to be doing a review of them thinking are they worth the buy or are they worth the price? So let's get into it. Here's the receipt in total. I spent around $100, which is not too bad for clothes, especially for as much as you get, especially if you would go to like Urban Outfitters, you're getting like two things for over $100, so bear that in mind. So one thing that's like super in trend right now, which I think is great, because you don't want to pay a lot of money for basics, is basic white tees and basic black tees. I got one of both. First off, I think you should get them in different sizes as well. First in your actual size, because then when you wear like a tank top, top over it that's like long or dress or something that's a cute like little layer and then additionally you can wear it the kind of like insta baddy style which is really really long with biker shorts that's very in so that alone right there Walmart had two different styles first off they're the same price though so they had two different styles this one's a lot softer so like look around check it out I keep flinging this around but they were both 444 so Five dollars for a basic tee. I think that's actually really, really good. You probably could find it cheaper somewhere else, maybe like Primark or something like that. But it is a good deal for what it is, especially just being like a plain thing. Like you know, if you're getting an oversized shirt at somewhere else, again, American Eagle, you're paying a lot more. I will say where Walmart was lacking the most tended to be in the shorts and skirt department. Again, I think there you just need to find what you feel comfortable with in, and honestly to look cute and like it doesn't come from Walmart comes more from the top I think so anyway so I did pick up this skirt which I thought was really cute it's a very basic blue but I really like the stripes down the side because it kind of reminded me of Adidas which is really trendy really in um, unfortunately I bought the wrong size so it does not fit um, but it was only nine dollars and it was super cute personally if you think me like it's the perfect like 
denim trend and like I could see people like asking like where is this is from even with the top that I have on just a basic gray like very cute I saw this bathing suit top which I think could be layered really cute with if you took like a white shirt and then you like cut it to the style that goes up here um, but I thought it was really cute and if you're like a very tiny petite person or even like you know someone who's a little bigger the knot at the bottom I thought was very stylish and could be pulled off um, it is a bathing suit top so if you wanted to get it as a bathing suit honestly they had some really cute plain bathing suits um, it's just sometimes hard to find both of your sizes because summer has already like started so I don't know how your Walmart is $7.96 so that's not bad for like a cute basic bathing suit top it's not like overly expensive the next thing which I found to be a flop because first off it's really really soft it's a jumpsuit and I thought it was really good priced it was $15 so for a jumpsuit that's really good but the issue is trying it on it's like not as flowy on the bottom as you would like it like sticks to your skin so unless you're a really petite person who like has like a really flat tummy which I do not have then it's not going to be the most flattering on you so that was the disappointing part but the top part was really pretty i don't know there's potential if you wanted to like cut it at the seam and do it as like a cropped midi top i could see that working but i just don't see it as a piece itself as purchase worthy i found this dress on the sale rack for seven dollars and if you ask me it's a very pretty wrap dress um and the material is very soft i wouldn't say this is the best find ever, but for a wrap dress, because I know wrap dresses tend to struggle, it covers a lot and it doesn't slip or slide, which a lot of wrap dresses tend to do. So it is great for that if you need a really, really, because this dress still is really cute, but if you need something a little more like formal, but still on a budget, like this would be great for Easter, I could imagine. Um, you know, a summer barbecue if it wasn't like a pool party type situation. So I see it being really great for that. And again, $7. I found it on the sale rack. They also had tank tops for dirt cheap. And I thought these were great because they have the little ruching right here in the front, which makes for a cute design. So this would great look great tucked in with a skirt. Honestly, these, because they are like on the longer side, because they're more Walmart, it's more about coverage. So tucking them in with overalls, they could be great. So I could just see this standing out. So I grabbed it in blue, and I also grabbed it in yellow. I found this. So they had a bunch of varieties of this. So go based on what your color you like the best. It was only $6, which is great. It's a tube top. I picked up this navy one. I thought it was cute, and it has the fun stripes. It's great because the top of it, actually, which I think is pretty ballsy of Walmart to put in they put in a what is this called I can't even think of the words for it um but it's like the thicker material that helps keep it up so it's like actually staying up on you like other tube tops at forever 21 do not so just find the color that you like honestly I think their tube tops are probably worth it again tucked in even with overalls super cute I overalls are so in still so this top to me was kind of a flop but if it's your style and you can make it work then I think you should um, it was $11, so I think this was more pricier than it should be, and it's this cute tie-up top. Now, so the bad thing about this top, it's really cute if you have really itty-bitty tiny titties. Itty-bitty titty committee, right here, this is a top for you. The issue is it doesn't tie tight enough. It only came to about here, so you really aren't getting any coverage. I did wear it with a cropped white shirt. I didn't think it looked too bad, but that isn't really my style. If that's your style and you can pull it off, then go for it, but it is very cropped. It only, again, comes right below the titties. So if you can make that work, then good for you. Do I think it's worth $11? Personally, no. Walmart has a ton of leggings and a ton of biker shorts, so I didn't pick any of that up because those are just basics. You know those are there. If you want really cheap, you can go there. Forever 21 also has leggings really cheap, so that's why I didn't really wanna, you know, go there. Um, but I got these really cute gray sporty kind of shorts. They're so freaking comfy, okay? And depending, like you can size up definitely if you want it to be more coverage, you know, if you want it to hang a little lower. These were only $3, which I think is comparable to Forever 21 pricing. These I feel like are probably even a little better. I just feel like Walmart has been putting more quality control in. So they're really cute and they had a variety of colors. I was gonna get black, but they didn't have my size. So I just got gray because gray is really simple and really cute. So that's why I got it. And I honestly think they're worth the money. Okay guys, so that is everything I bought from Walmart. Um, I'd love to hear your opinion. Like, do you think these clothes are trendy? Do you think they're worth the money? I'd love to hear your opinion. Comment them down <laughs> below, thanks. Um, 
yeah, some of these clothes really aren't for me. Some I will wear, but I'll pair them with some of my more expensive clothes that I have in the back. So it's really just finding your own taste and finding what you like. Again, I think Walmart is absolutely great for basics and cheap bathing suits. Just make sure you try everything on before you bring it home. So if you guys like this video, if you liked watching me, you should press that subscribe button down below. We have a part two to this video coming out very soon, so I would love for you guys to subscribe so that you will be able to see that when it comes out. So I will see you guys next time.